Welcome to Trader TV, your insight into trading for professional investors. I'm Dan Barnes. Execution management systems have seen very low adoption in fixed income markets so far by the buy side. However, that's changing. Here with me today to discuss that are Tim Morbelli, Head of Muni Trading at Alliance Bernstein, and Gareth Coltman, Head of Automation at Market Access. And we're going to discuss how buy side firms can make better use of the EMS today. Guys, welcome to the show. Thanks, Dan. Thank you for having us. Gareth, can I ask you, first of all, where do you think buy-side traders are struggling to get the most of their EMSs and OMSs today? I think we need to recognise that fixed income is different to other markets, equity markets, you know, listed markets, where the idea of EMS came from. There are different dominant protocols in equities markets, liquidity nearly always firm, predominantly visible versus kind of on-demand liquidity in fixed income markets. EMS is a relatively new product within fixed income. You know, we looked at some studies that have been done. It's only like a 5% penetration on the buy side, whereas an OMS is roughly 95% penetration, meaning almost everyone has an order management system today. That's a tremendous growth opportunity for providers to come into the asset class and provide an offering that enhances a buy side trader's workflow, which is why we actually invested in building one, because we actually did see the benefit of having an execution management system that can overlay your existing order management system today and offer you additional features and keep up with modern day protocols that may not be supported or at least not yet supported by your existing OMS provider. What are the benefits to traders if they can engage more effectively with a platform through the investment lifecycle? So the ultimate key is time save, and that really does add up. If you think about you know, how long it takes you to do a transaction, anywhere from you know three minutes, call it. I have to IB somebody, wait for them to come back, once they come back, yes, done. They send a VCon. Okay, wait for a VCon, match trade, it's booked. Or I send out an RFQ on market access. I'm waiting for that to queue up. Then I have to go back to the interface and engage on that interface. We actually have the OEMS or the EMS where you live and breathe within that. You can actually do all of that together. And now you've streamlined it. So I can engage electronically, do a trade, click, I'm done. I just took something that went from three minutes to three seconds. On top of that, you've now achieved scale. And that's what we're trying to do with that scalability nature of your trading desk. You can start to look at ways to offer other products for our clients. I strongly believe there are opportunities to optimize execution today that are being missed in the existing workflows. So often clients are making a decision about using or not using a platform, for example, without having access to data analytics pre-trade that could help them optimize their approach to market. And I think many clients underestimate the depth of liquidity that is available electronically on platform. And many clients are surprised to learn how much of our activity is actually block trading. In terms of the investment life cycle, very often what I think happens is that security selection is made without the full picture of available liquidity and what the likelihood of the execution outcome is. So if a portfolio manager can get a better understanding of the cost and the likelihood of execution, they can potentially consider alternative securities that provide exposure they're looking for with a lower cost of execution. Which components do you see as being integral to EMS integration into the fixed income ecosystem? You need pre-trade data for price discovery, connectivity to the broadest possible set of liquidity, dealers, all to all. You need post-trade analytics. And depending on where you are in the world, you need the ability to capture all of that data for best X and regulatory purposes. You can, I think, get all of those via a venue, right? So for clients who are worried about the cost benefit, that obviously does bring into question how much additional value do they get from the EMS. I do hear from most clients, their biggest concern is liquidity. So does the workflow that I'm designing give me access to a broad enough set of liquidity rather than just one or two liquidity providers? We do need to be careful about how much we put into the EMS. If we're starting to push liquidity aggregation and we're starting to meet buyers and sellers in an EMS, is that the right place for that? Or should that be on a more transparent regulatory venue? And Tim, which parts of the workflow do you think need to be in the AMS and which can be held in the either single dealer platform or multi dealer platform? The goal is to put as much as you can within your EMS, because again, you want to live within that ecosystem, but that doesn't mean you don't leverage the capabilities or the data streams or the functionality of those respective platforms. Yeah. So to the case in point, the hybrid model is actually exactly how we went about it. We have some asset classes that have developed our own algo price for auto execution. We leverage the auto execution capability, but referencing our algo price. We have other asset classes that we actually leverage the venue provided price, such as CP Plus or AIEX. And we can actually leverage that referenced 
to then auto execute the trade. So that's the hybrid model where you have the flexibility of both. And that's where it's up to the user or asset class to then determine what they want or don't want to use. AutoX is a great example of that, where a client can control AutoX from their EMS, but can still leverage market access data and our rules engine in terms of making decisions around automation. Data is at the core of everything that we do. You can't run an optimization engine without knowing what's going on in the marketplace. You can't create liquidity scores without understanding what's available in the marketplace. You can't run a quant model without actually knowing you can actually execute on the trades that you're trying to do. And all of that factors into creating orders and generating opportunities for the EMS to then go and actually engage with the marketplace. And I also couldn't agree more with Garrett's point that an EMS is not supposed to be a trading venue. An EMS is supposed to be a way to connect better to the marketplace and do that in a streamlined fashion and also offer you additional tools that you maybe didn't have at the forefront to start with. Guys, that's been fantastic. Thanks so much. Thanks, that was great, Dan. It was fun. I'd like to thank Gareth and Tim for their insights today, and of course, you for watching. To catch up on our other shows, also subscribe to our newsletter, go to tradetv.net. Thank <laughs> you.